It's not like they found Neverland. I want to make my own dress. <laughs> that works for me. It's what I'm comfortable in. It's what I feel pretty in. <laughs> Feet up on the dash. What are you doing? That's mom's drink. Hmm. Hey, it's Mads, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. There's construction outside. We're just gonna have to go with it. I'm gonna do my best to clean up the audio. I don't know what they were doing. I was literally just watching them, and it's just three dudes staring at a hole. Just, just staring in the hole, not talking, just looking. And it's not like the holes in this deep. It's, it's not like they found Neverland. He's just kicking dirt in the hole. Anyway, I'm back home. There are still tons, um, I think four, at the point that you'll see this video, three or four more videos from my mom's house. From my mom's, I've got so much footage. I am working on editing that, but I'm home now. So I want to do a very special project. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I am learning how to sew. <laughs> Use a sewing machine, learning like the ins and the outs of how to make stuff myself. I've always been a very hands-on person. I've always been a person who likes to do things themselves, hence the Mets did that situation. So I want to learn how to do this. And I have a goal for the end of the summer. We have three weddings to go to. I want to make my own dress. Does that, is that ambitious? I want like, no, and I want to actually, I not just like make a dress, but have a vision, design it and make it. Do you know what I mean? Or even like do like a replication make because I think it's such a vital skill and I want to know how to do it. Uh, sorry. The people are going to be like seeing it. So today's video is my first toe tip into making my own dress. What we are going to do today is we're actually going to take a dress I bought and wore to my cousin's wedding last year. It is beautiful. Hold on, let me go get it. Here we go. This dress is so beautiful and I've only worn it the once to my, to my cousin's wedding. It's from Saints and Secrets. It was on Insta uh, Maybe it was an Instagram ad or a TikTok that I saw last summer and I fell in love with it. This is an Australian small, a US extra small. I did it based off the measurements and it is so, 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 so pretty. I love this neckline on me and these sleeves. I love this dress for so many reasons, but there's a couple of things that just, I think could make it better. And that's what I want to accomplish today. I want to pick apart this dress, rework it ever so slightly. Some of the details could very easily be altered and would be the next evolution of this dress. I also think this is a great way to think of old clothes. Instead of me buying a new dress, I get to alter this one a little bit and make it feel like a new dress. And hi, what do you think? Are you inspecting? Oh, thank you. Don't chew it. Please don't bite it. You can sniff. Sniffing is okay. There's a couple of the details, um, particularly the sleeves and the length. Okay, let's look at this dress. Let's look at it for, for what it is. We are looking at this really, it's very milkmaid, very. I love the neckline and the back. I, I don't wanna change that at all. It's like slightly sweethearted in a way. Well, I, I think it's so pretty. And I do love the off the shoulder sleeves. You can put them up and it becomes much more milkmaidy or have them off. And it feels, I still think it's like romantic and whimsical. What I hate <laughs> is the elastic in here. It is so tight on my arms. I wish this was just like a pretty flowy cap sleeve. So we're going to do that. Moving down into the waist, not so upset with it. It's pretty, I love the size of the ties, like how thick they are, that really, like that does it for me. And they make the bow in the back just look so, I don't know, extra. And again, whimsy, romantic. 
Uh, the length is something we are going to tackle. I want to take this to about knee length-ish, maybe a little longer than knee, like just below my knee. And that's pretty much it. I think starting with the sleeves, it's going to be the easiest alteration. And that gives me a little confidence. And then uh, after we take the elastic out of the sleeves and stuff, we'll see if uh, I have any blue thread and we can go from there. This fabric is delicate, so I don't want to rip it. I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up or not, but I am getting these teeny, teeny, teeny tiny little holes. Uh, I think from washing these, those might just go away and they won't be that, like you, you would never be able to see them. So I'm not super worried, but that's how careful I'm being. I'm literally picking each one. I've started going from the back and can you see where they separate there? I'm nipping that. So did times where I'd rather be They give me love and they set me free <laughs> Yes, we are going to use my flat iron Don't, don't judge me for that I, I'm working with what I got here, okay? I'm, I'm a modern girl, I don't have an iron what, what, do I live in like 1912? Like, no, I don't have an iron We're just gonna put this on the lowest setting Oh, it worked! <laughs> Actually, living in the moment is the only truth. Let's go slow. Living in the moment is the only truth. No! Miss! Hey! No! No! They give me love and they set me free. The ocean's tides can live without the moon. And darling, the towns are where I'd rather be. They give me love and they set me free. The ocean's tides can live without the moon. And darling, the same. off the whole bottom of the skirt I think that's enough I've tried it on it's it's good because it's gonna be brought up a little bit by the twirly hem anyway and I didn't really want to turn it into like a mini dress I wanted to go from like midi to T <laughs> you know what I mean like to like a T length I like that length for me that works for me it's what I'm comfortable in it's what I feel pretty in so that's what we're gonna do also I like to be able to wear like shorts under dresses like this, especially when I'm going to an event or something. I like to just know that I'm protected <laughs> from from all angles. If there's kids, it, I there's one thing about me that you need to know. No matter how formal the event, I'm gonna get on the floor and play with your kid, your dog, whatever it is. So the dress being not super short is important to me so that I can get up to my tomfoolery, my goosery, if you will. So today, we are going to to fix up the hem. Oh, 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 also before I forget. The sleeves turned out so pretty. I pressed them and they just look like, I feel like it took it from milkmaid to flouncy fairy and all I had to do was take that elastic out. I'm happy with that choice. We're leaving that where it is. 
I'm gonna get this uh, space set up for sewing and we can talk about my twirly hem. All right. Oh. Also, the construction is still happening. I think I've timed it so that they're on their lunch break so it shouldn't affect us too much, but in case there are noises, construction, they're laying pipes or making a bike lane or something, something good, I think. Okay, before we tackle the actual dress, we need to pick a color and I don't even think we need to decide because I think this is it. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to spin a bobbin, but that's fine. So I have a blank bobbin. <gasps> oh, bless the sewing gods. My blank bobbin. We're gonna wind the bobbin with the blue. I'm gonna put all of this to the side. I'm gonna go get the fishing line too. Said fishing line. This is very simple. Theoretically, I'm just like sewing a zigzag, I'm like rolling the hem and sewing a zigzag stitch. But knowing me, I wanna find a way to make it complicated. I'm gonna find a way to turn this into a five hour project. There's one thing I know about sewing is you have fabric scissors and everything else scissors. My fabric scissors don't get used on anything other than fabric. Something about them being sharp or something, I don't know. Okay, okay, I feel like that's enough. Okay, I actually think because of this fabric, I'm gonna press it. Let me go get my my iron. Again, she's coming out to play. I just like set it on the lowest seven setting. Is this 270? I don't know how that's right. Um, This hair straightener I bought because of Tana Mojo. And uh, we stay in her, we love her. Her journey's been great. Um, grew up on her, such a good time. But uh, this hair straightener was the first thing I was ever influenced to buy. And I did use her code and I think it was like 80% off or 70% off or something. And I paid like $40 for it. Um, thank you, sweetie. I love you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is it normal. And this is it with the. See, it just has more structure, I think. Okay. I'm gonna do another practice because I feel I'm gonna do this longer piece. that with my skill level and this like delicate fabric I think the best thing for me to do is to just create a normal like rolled hem and then feed the fishing line through that tie it off maybe I'll do like a little melty melty on it to make it all stick together I don't know we'll see I told you I would find a way to make this complicated <laughs> I think what I was I was just like struggling to like feed the fishing line and get the hem right on this I don't have an iron hence the hair straightener um so I think I'm just, I, I think my, and my skill, I'm, I'm not that coordinated with the machine yet. So I think the easiest way for me, it might be more in process and like the for dummies version, but I think it's gonna work the best. I'm gonna just focus on getting a really beautiful hem on the dress, a nice stitch and all the things. And I think my tension is a little weird. Um, so I'm gonna, oh, it's actually better up here. So I think I just, I, I just, I kind of lost the sauce there. I'm just gonna focus on getting a nice hem, a nice rolled hem, basic, essentially recreating the hem that already existed. See, I'm doing all this so you don't have to. Maybe you'll get a better, yes. Look at this versus this without it. Can you see, I'm not crazy, right? Like it's different and I will check back with you when, once I've got that. 
in because I, I think you should see them. This is like a part of learning, you know? Like, I'm just praying that I can fix it or make it right or I'm regretting every choice I've ever made. I should have just played Animal Crossing. I should have just kept playing Animal Crossing. some videos and just like wanted to rethink how I was approaching this. I'm going to turn this around. We are going to, this is going to be fine. This looks disgusting, but I promise it's delicious. It's just like orange juice, a scoop of reds, a scoop of like, just like a vitamin mineral powder. And then that has like a little bit of caffeine in it. And then uh, a bubbly, whatever flavor I did peach so good so it's like carbonated but sweet but not too sweet because the berries make it a little sweet the orange juice adds a little sweet meat tartness and it just gives you that feeling maybe i'll make another one i don't know i'm gonna try this let's get let's get back into this <laughs> I left a little, where did I do it? I left one of these a little bit open, like this. Do you see? Like I just left it on so I double backed on each side and this is gonna be my little in and we'll sew this back with the fishing line at the end. But this is the part where we put the fishing line in. I'm using the fishing line that I got from my hardware store. That's what we're using. And I am literally just putting it in here and slipping it under into the hem that we made. Yeah, yeah. And you can like feel it along the way. Yeah. Just like you would a, uh... oh my God, look, it's already twirling. Okay, okay. I'm getting so excited. I'm just being careful that it doesn't poke through the delicate fabric. Six on the radio. With your hand tied in mine, the 
There's no such thing as time Now we can go anywhere you want to go This project <laughs> definitely tried me. This definitely put my patience to the test and really like forced me to like think about the skills I have and like use my sower brain, the knowledge that I have to like make this work. I love how it turned out. I think it really, just by changing these two details, really the sleeve and the hemline, and the style of hem. So three things. Yeah, that's what we changed. We changed three things all together. We changed the sleeve. We took out that elastic and pressed it and turned it into more of like a flouncy sleeve instead of a milkmaid, the that elastic like puffy sleeve. We let it free fall. And then we brought up the hemline from like a mid length to more of a T length, just right below my knee, which is more flattering for me. And then also did that fishing line, twilly, twirly, twilly, twirly, twilly, 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 twirly, twirly, twirly hem. And I think that that just, my mom says it best. She said it with like a tulip. And I love that. Tulips are my favorite flower. We're going with tulip hem. So the tulip hem, bringing it up, it just, the dress was beautiful before. It's well made. It's a beautiful color. It just made it more my style and my, like it made it more custom for me and what I look for in a dress, which, you know, <sighs> clothes are such an expression of like who we are. And part of the reason that I want to improve my sewing skills and I'm making these videos and I'm doing this is because I want to be able to do this sort of thing to my clothes whenever I want. I want to be able, and I think that that skill is really amplified in this. There were such small changes that have a huge impact. I am beyond happy. I am so excited to wear this to the wedding. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, always comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like in your heart. I am working towards my first hundred subscribers. I would love for you to be one. And if you stuck around with me for this long, thank you so much. I will see you on Sunday. Goodbye. I'm gonna feel so beautiful in this. Ugh, it's like modern Cinderella-y. She's not my favorite Disney princess, but I just put it together. I'm wearing a Disney princess shirt. I'm making a Disney princess dress. Yes, Trixie, that is right. This is a Disney princess. I live in a house with four cats. Yeah, I'm living my best Disney life. <laughs>